Okay, in this video, I'm going to use a, um, a XY-DJM-5V radio frequency uh, receiver. It's four channels, so it has digital pins uh, D0 through D3, and the transmitter has four buttons, uh, A, B, C, and D. So based on the button that's pressed, it'll uh, pull one of those pins high. They're normally low. Okay, so this is the RF receiver module and you can see it has seven pins. Uh, to the far right is the ground. Next to that is the five volt power pin. Uh, the next four pins are the data pins, uh, data zero through data three. And then the final pin is uh, VT. I'm not sure really what that pin does. You don't really need it to um, to run it as far as I, I can see. You can just use, uh, you can just read from those those four data pins. And then, so this is the uh, transmitter, and you can see it has four buttons, A, B, C, and D, and those correspond to the um, the data pins, but A does not, they're not in order, A does not go to D0, B to D1, so what I'm going to do next is hook the, um, the receiver up to some LEDs, press the buttons, and see which, which button activates uh, which uh, data pin. Okay, so I've hooked the receiver uh, up to a breadboard and attached four LEDs. So the LED on the four right corresponds to data pin zero. Uh, the second from the right corresponds to data pin one. Uh, the third from the right corresponds to data pin two. And the, the last LED on the left corresponds to data pin three. So uh, I'm going to hit the A button on the transmitter and you can see that uh, data pin 2 lights up. So A corresponds to data pin 2. And if I hit the B button, that uh, the far right LED lights up, so that's data pin 0. Hit the C button, uh, the one on the far left lights up, and that's data pin 3. And then I hit the D button, uh, the second from the right lights up, so that's data pin 1. So you can see they're not in order. A A does not go to 0, B to 1. They're, they're kind of mixed up. So you may have to test it out just like this to see uh, which, which transmitter button corresponds to which data pin. Okay, so this is a small robot I built that uses the RF receiver. And it's sitting up on, on this board here. Um, and so basically the four pins allow it to uh, move forward, uh, stop the motors, uh, turn left, and turn right. So there's two motors under there. And there's an Arduino down under, under that shield. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, so that receives the signal, or the, yeah, the, uh, the RF receiver receives a signal from the transmitter, and then that signal is transferred to the Arduino, and then the Arduino actually runs the motors. Okay, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video.